Hi. Hi. Hey guys, welcome to a new video on I, Bella Vlog. And today's video is going to be all about me teaching you guys how to do another cool trick of mine that I know how to do on scratch. Now let's bounce into the video, shall we? that I'm going to be teaching you guys is this one that I did here where your thing or character changes different colors you might know that you might know that um how to change the character or the thing because in my other video that I did of coding on scratch that I showed you guys how to change your character or thing in different colors so that's what I did here and whenever you click it it makes like different sounds and this is what I did earlier now let's get right into the video on how you do this amazing trick of mine so once you first get onto scratch eventually this will appear if you don't want to you can obviously delete it and then you're going to go and click to new sprites so I went to flying right here and I found the unicorn so you're going to click it and then you're going to click OK. Then eventually it should load and come right here on the screen so I want it to be right there. Now what you're going to do is that you're going to go to costumes and you're going to um, click the mouse and you're going to get this label I think that's how you say it and do it again because you're going to be changing her hair in different colors you can do it how many times you want and then I'm just going to color the hairs or if you want to, you can also color the skin and I'll be right back so I finished painting all of the unicorns hair I did it in the rainbow colors and what you're going to do is then you're going to go to script and then you're going to go to events drag when green flag clicked and just put it right here and then you're going to go to looks and you're going to get switch costume to unicorn and then whatever you chose and put it right there so i need to put it in the first one and um do it again because i did six of them and once you've finished it should look something like this when I finish. One more. And finish. So I did six of them because the last one says unicorn six. And um, you're going to go to um, control. And then put wait one second. Put it right in between of all of them. And then what you're going to put, hold on, let me just finish here. Right there. And then you're going to put 0, 0 0.10. 0 0.10. I basically do it with all of them. Once you've done that, it should eventually look something like this but you don't want it to stop there because you want it to repeat hundreds and hundreds of times so you have to grab the block repeat and then put it like that it looks like a mouth eating all of this and then when you click only 10 times it should look something like this But then after a few seconds, it stops again. But you want, want it to repeat again and again and again. So you have to put one and however many zeros I can repeat. Like bazillion, gazillion, trillion of times. I don't know if that's a number. But yeah, it should look something like this. And it will never stop. Then what you're going to do is that for it to make the sound like I did with this one. You're going to go to sound. Once you click sound, this should eventually appear when you click this. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to effects. And then you're going to find what you want to do. Where I chose fairy dust. So I found fairy dust. And now I'm going to click OK. And then it should be here. 
And I really like the sound. Now that I did that, I'm going to go back to scripts. And then you're going to go to sounds here. And you're going to play berry dust. But then we're going to go to events. When this sprite is clicked, because remember here, I did like every time I click it, it makes the sound. So, yes. And like I said, I wanted it to be right here. But if I don't do that and people do it there, it stays there. But I want it to be right here. So you're also going to go, since you're now in events, you have to go grab the block when green flag clicked. And then go to motion. Here you need to find, go to X and then it says the number, Y, the number. So I get that and put it right here. And then once you finish, it should look a lot like this. And then when you click it. And also the good thing about this is that whenever you have this one there, it would always be there. But when you put it there and you put clean the feedback, it would be right there where you want it to be. And I'm going to put um, all the things that were here right on to this one so let me go and do that so i finished doing the rest of these um i did the car wait hold on let me just put it on and this is how it looks like and let me i'm going to play the car sound the singer the what's it called again the speaker And last of all, the drum. I really like it. And now I'm going to show you how to do, like, use your own imagination to, like, do words or, like, draw your own person or character. And what you want to do is that you need to click this paintbrush right here. And then it should hopefully take you here. And if you want to draw whatever you want, you need to just click this button here and then start drawing whatever you want. But I'm just going to stick with letters. So if you want to draw letters, click the T right here. And then once you clicked it, it should, um, you can start writing whatever you want. So I'm going to write snap. And if you want to change the writing, you can go to here on font. Click this button right here and you can change whatever writing you want. I'm going to keep it on this one. And you can make it bigger by clicking this button here. And you might not see it because it's quite bright. And just go like that. Bigger. Okay, so now once I make it bigger, I'm going to dipuclate it. And probably one more and now since this one's already done in yellow I'm gonna do this one in um, another color so I'll be right back and I'll be finished with painting all of these okay guys so I finished coloring my snaps that I did and I really liked them and once you did your words or your character that you did it should hopefully appear on this screen and it's going to appear on the middle but you can put it in whatever position you want so i think i'm just gonna put it right there and then you're gonna go to scripts go to events then drag when green flag clicked put it right there then you're going to go to control, which is at the bottom of events. Then you're going to get the forever block. And put it right underneath the when green flag click. Then what you're going to do is that you're going to go to looks, then drag switch costume to costume four. But I just need to leave it to costume one. Then you're going to get another one of this.
Okay guys, so I finished here. And now we're gonna do is that you're gonna go back to control and you're gonna drag the block. Wait one second, but it's not gonna be one second because we're gonna change that. And we're gonna put it into 0 0.1 and then we're gonna duplicate that, which is gonna be the same thing. One more. And this one we're gonna put them in between all of your costume stages. Once you've done that, you're gonna go to sound. And since it says snap, I'm gonna try and find the, the sound snap. So go to sounds and then click this speaker. Once you made it onto speakers, I'm gonna go to effects, try to find it. So I found snaps. So you're gonna click it and then click OK. Then it should be right here. So I'm just gonna cut off a little bit. So you're just gonna be where you want it to be and then drag it there. Then you're gonna go to edit and then find cut and it'll just be cut it off. And then play it again. Yeah, I like it. Then you're gonna go back to scripts and then go to sound. Then here it already says snap. So you're gonna put that right here. And then go back to events where you were before. And then drag when this sprite clicked. clicked. Cause remember guys, whenever you click it, it makes the sound like I did with this one. So now once that is done, you want your snap to be where it is. So you need to go to motion. Okay, now that you made it onto motion, you're gonna grab this, which says go to X, and then it says the number, Y, the number. And then you're gonna drag that right there. Then you're gonna go to events and get when green flag clicks. And then when you click the green flag, should all look like this. It sounds really good. I love it very much. And the last one. And the last one that I want to do to complete this project is that to make the background change like I did with this one. And uh, what you're gonna do is that you're gonna click stage background, just click that there. And then you're gonna click when green flagged, clicked, and control forever. And I'm gonna go to backdrops. And with this, we're just gonna um, paint whatever um, patterns you want. So I'm gonna start off with green, and then I'm gonna dip you clay another one. This time is gonna be orange. And then just keep on dip you clayting until you agree with however many um, backgrounds you want. So I'm going to come back and I'll be finished depicting these and um, painting them. So I finished colouring the backdrop. So I uh, did green, orange, purple and blue. Now you're going to go back to scripts. And then you're going to go to looks. Then drag switch backdrop to backdrop 4. Because I did 4. Then you're going to switch it to background one so the last one number four now you're gonna go to control get wait one second then you're gonna write um 0 0.1 then you're gonna duplicate that duplicate one more now this last one is going to be here and the other one's going to be in between um oops sorry and this one is going to be right 
in between that one and this one between that one now once you've done that it should look like this and your project is finished and i really like it now i'm going to show you it one more time what it looks like in real life as you can see they're switching colors snap the drum the speaker the amazing singer the car and obviously not least the unicorn okay that looks so good okay guys so that's the end of today's video i hope you learned something from me today and for more information about visiting my other youtube channel it will be at the bottom of the screen right here and don't forget to subscribe share like comment and then i'll see you guys in the next video okay. bye bye <laughs> bye <laughs>